welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. Alon Paul here, and welcome to my channel. Uh, first things first, we're going to be doing a... This is just a test speed run. It is obviously a recording. This is not a live stream. This is just going to be doing some testing. Um, as of the recording of this stream, the record for the speed run in the Adrift Expedition was 1 hour and 31 minutes by Delta1246. Um, very very fascinating run he did there. Uh, there's a lot of things that you can do to, to try to shave off time. And as he put it, uh, as we were talking back and forth after his run, <clears throat> there's a lot of sloppiness that happens during these runs. And if you can sometimes really focus and make it really, really precise, you can get through these things a lot quicker. So we really do believe that you can get below 130 on this fairly easily. Um, so that's going to be an interesting thing. So I'm going to go ahead and record a run through of this and see how we do. Uh, as you can see, the timer's on the screen. I'm going to keep the camera off. It's early morning here. Frankly, I don't feel like showing my face on the screen, and that's pretty much about it. And you're going to hear a sip every now and then as I don't mute my microphone because I'm actually drinking my coffee as well. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get this started here. Um, let me see here. So we're at the main screen, of course. Um, little trick that I usually do, just so you know, is I always start one of my saves. I try to get something going real quick. I'll go to the save real quick, just so I can get whatever multi-tool that I have there. I can get the same layout on my multi-tool on my new save. Um, I think it'll work, because I didn't actually, when I went into the save, I didn't actually jump in and out of my ship real quick, so I don't know if it's going to work this time. It'll be nice if it, to, to learn this way, so something else to learn. Second thing, as we get started, let's go ahead and get started and go adrift. There we go. Second thing, uh, what do we need? I mean, on that first planet, you have a lot to do. Um, some go about doing it right away and get a lot of things knocked out. Some people uh, get fewer things knocked out to try to get out of the system quicker. And that is very important. Getting out of the system quicker is going to be very, very important to this run. Um, we have a certain amount of components we need, to, we need to gather for the entire journey, but we don't necessarily need it all from this planet. Uh, I like to get everything as quickly as I can. So there's a couple things that I do. There's a one, and you're going to see, I'm going to do one of the uh, uh, phase five um, milestones right away because I like to get started in a different way. And it does delay me a little bit by doing it this way. It delays me a full minute on top of having to do check things out right afterwards. So uh, it is going to be like two minutes that I'm blowing here. But I personally think it's well worth it because it helps me down the path in the long run. So let's get started, shall we? Got a timer on the screen going now. Always keeping in mind for those who are not familiar with speedruns that the timer does not reflect actual in-game time. Like this whole beginning here that you're seeing does not count towards time in the game but it gives us a rough idea of where we want to be. I want that timer to be below two hours. How far below is up to me. If I can get it to an hour 55, that'd be fantastic. Understanding how I play and everything like that. As you pan around here at the beginning, it's always good to look around and see what you've got. Looks like I have absolutely nothing. And my ship is that direction. Or that direction. There we go. Alright, so. Tab out of this. And I'm going to just start gathering some resources while I wait for the game to catch up. I'm just going to gather a few. That's what I was looking for. So I'm going to gather these rocks real quick while I'm here. Don't worry about the uh, worm. Worm's not going to hurt you. And then we're going to go in here real quick and select in phase five a still a still small voice that's what we need and then when we exit just look straight up see the timer started while that timer is going we have an opportunity to move some stuff around we don't have to rush it either because we have plenty of time so let's get everything got a little bit of uh, ferrite we're doing good there i can't do anything with my starship i'm not close enough and it looks like i do have my 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 multi-charged slots here so that's good all right, so we're going to move this over here. Get you out of the way. I want the scanner. Is it 489? It doesn't seem to make a difference who I put there. So. And. 
I'm going to pull you out and put the mine beam in. Okay? So that gives us a little more stuff as we go. But I do need to get to a cave and everything like this, so... As you can see by the timer at the bottom, we've got another 10 seconds to go here. Let's see how we do. And... Three, two, one. Boom. Clear that. I'm not even moving still, right? And you see I did it in the day, so... We get our memory fragments, and that's where it comes to play. I cannot tell you how many times I got something really good. Uh, shield, pulse and water jets. That doesn't help me at all. <laughs> okay, let's go. I need 300 of this stuff. Yes, I'm going in the opposite direction than where my ship is, but that's okay. We'll go there in just a minute. And I haven't scanned anything yet. Because I saw this sitting here, so I wanted to see if I could get some of that. Some of these wriggling tendrils and stuff like that. Got a good amount here. Let's switch over to our gun. Let's take these guys out. One. Two. Two. Three. We want these things. And they're all gone. Okay, so we're all we're all done. Back to mining beam. We need dihydrogen, we need about a hundred of it. We don't need a ton of it. Just need a hundred. Keep moving. Try to stay on your feet as much as possible if you're doing speed runs. Because you need the steps. You need 9,000 steps in this. Oh, somebody attacked me. Alright. No idea how much we got. Let's do a quick scan. Uh, we need carbon. Is going to be our next thing that we need. Just gonna get off of there. There we go. I'll get one more batch of this, and that should be more than enough to get us by. There, the swarm is subsiding. We only got three of those wriggling guys. Okay, so we know the ship is over here, and we got C plus over there as well. So let's head that direction. It's not gonna help us. We do need whispering eggs. Copper, good. All right, let's head toward the copper. Actually, to tell you what, let's mark it so I don't get lost. Oh, got the egg from it. What do you know? And it looks like we have condensed carbon, which we definitely need. All right, got a little bit of it. Not much, but at least it's a start. Watch the run juice. As we come across a hill, I'll just bound up real quick here. More condensed carbon over there. That'll be great. We'll hit that on the way. We need magnetized ferrite as well, as you know. Need a couple hundred of it. A little over 200 would be very, very helpful. I find I am short sometimes on it. Well, and we need a couple, a few hundred of this. I wish we could get by with less. Honestly. But we need a lot of the stuff that comes from it. We need chromatic metal. So we need at least... Uh, gosh, I don't know. We'll get 50 chromatic metal from the... Uninstallation of our rockets. But we'll need at least another 50 to 100 chromatic metal. So I'll need at least 300 of this. Because some of it is also used for repairs. So we're already up to about 200 right now. I see we're already at the six minute mark wandering around. We've already got a bunch of stuff. Once we hit about 300, actually once we hit 250, I think I'm going to go ahead to a larger. Gather up all the rest of this. We'll get close to 400, but... I'm trying to find ways to save time on the first planet. It's just, it's so tough because I have so much I get done on the first planet. Oh, 
almost there. We need the silicate too, so. We're gonna go ahead and grab some of that too while we're here. In this mode, that ought to give us a bunch. I can get it to go, that is. Did we just find a cave? We sure did. Alright, let's go the other way real quick. Got about 500 already? That'll be good. Alright, back to the mining. They should have enough to get what we want here. Okay, this cave is not very big, it looks like, so we'll just get the car cobalt. We need about, I find about 200 cobalt is what's necessary. I'm not interested in scanning any of these things, getting the secondary metals. The amount you get from them in secondaries is just not enough to really make any difference at all to me. Because you're still going to have to get some of these. What are we up to? 160, 70, 80. That should get us over 200. There we go. I'm going to use this real quick and scan the flower. Good. That gives us a plant. Look around for our... Let me see here. I'm trying to see if this cave goes anywhere else or if this literally is all there is. I think it's all there is. See? Yeah. Okay. I'm not going to worry about it now. we got plenty of our cobalt here. Get out of the hole. Out of the cave here. Scan. And we should have... Dense carbon over there. we got some nitro... Uh, uh, sodium over there. Oh, okay. Ship is this way. Oh, okay. I went a little bit off here. Uh, how far away is this stuff? far away. 217, let's go ahead and go. Because we got an egg in the middle of it all and we need the egg. I'm finding I need at least six of them. That I've been so unfortunate at the abandoned buildings and stuff that they don't give me everything I need. <laughs> let's put it that way. And we're going to let life support go all the way down. Any more over here? No? That's all I got out of that, huh? Let's go ahead and get this guy, too. We need, what, five more of these, I think. Oh. Need those. If I didn't need them, I wouldn't have wound out after. Ah, oxygen patch. How nice. Got them all. We could use more, but... Just thinking how I could use some oxygen. Can't believe I haven't gotten more damage from these guys. 270. Good. I needed about 250. I got 300. That is fantastic. Alright, let's do another scan. And we are also looking for caves. So, what's this? Copper. We already got copper. Need magnetized ferrite. Some right there. Let's go to market and go. Back the mining beam, and we should have an egg on the way. There it is. And we're also looking for condensed carbon. We need a lot. Kind of sparse on it over here. I don't know why. Ah, oh, that's wonderful. I'd love to have gotten that, but I don't have my advanced mining laser. Is this a cave? Yes. Yes, it is. There's a cave here. Not here, here, but it's here. Shoot, thank you. Where is it? There it is. Got it. 
Found a cave. Good. <clears throat> beam. We are only looking for that. Hazardous floor. Can't scan them. I don't know why. But they never, you never could. So we got one. We need eight more. There's two. That up here. Ah, look at that. Look at that. That is fantastic. Okay. Three. Four. And we're getting oxygen and sodium out of it, too. Five. By the way, the wriggling tendrils you also get sodium from. Six. Seven. Eight. And you know I'm going to grab the rest. Nine. Easy. Don't let it overheat. Because we're getting sodium stuff from these things. So I'm going to go ahead and grab. Alright, we're done. This way. Oh, hey. Whoa. Didn't see it come up on my radar. Alright, well that's good. Alright, we need a bunch more of that, but that's a great, great start. Good time to check our inventory. Okay, we got plenty of that. Silicate. We need more ferrite. We need a lot more ferrite. So I'm going to gather that as I go. We have over 300. We do. Okay, we should be in good shape. I like to have a little bit of a buffer. Oh, I got a geode out of it? Excellent. All right, great. We didn't get any magnetized ferrite out of it, but we got a deposit coming up. So, ooh, heck. Got it. Go. Oh, I'm going to get some of this lovely stuff that I could use here. All right. Switch over to my mining. Right. Manipulator, and we gotta charge it. There we go. We need about <clears throat> 200 of this. Another reason why I get. more regular ferrite is in case I run low on magnetized. Dude, you're going to sit there right in the middle of it all? Like my cat. Whoa! Wendy, I can see my house from here. Sorry. A little bit of a delay there. About knocked me into space. That's okay. We need at least about 130 to get off this planet. But I would really like to have about 200 of it. Found that I always run low on. Okay, how much did we end up with? That's not it. 158. Okay, well that'll work. That'll work for now. I think we have enough to get by. Um, we need condensed carbon. We're going to get some over there. Let's go. And back over to the mining beam. Okay. Hmm, that's weird. All right, we're going, we're going, we're going. Another sip of coffee while we're running. Right. Because whether we do the running now or we do the running later, we're going to have to get that running in, you know what I'm saying? So, we might as well do it now. 5%. Let's go ahead and put it in. It's our last one, but that's okay. Can we get close enough to this to get it? Eh, well, okay. Got it. Eh, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and skip. I was gonna go ahead and fight him, but I'm not. Quick scan, make sure we don't have more eggs on the way. We do. Let's do right here. Got 
one. That should, I think, get me where I need to be. I think I'm at about five or six. So that's good. How far away from the ship? And do we have any condensed carbon on the way? We do. Some over here. Now, as you know, we have already have plenty of oxygen. And I would love, love, love to run right now. But I can't. I mean, uh, fly. I gotta get these steps in. It takes longer. I'm looking at the time, and I'd like to be uh, off this planet in 20 minutes. But, well, 25. But I need this. Oh, look at that. Not on the scanner. Unbelievable. Get off to the side here because this one's right in a bad spot. How are we doing? 166. We don't have enough. That was it? Ay, ay, ay. That would have more. Kind of hit it in a roundabout way. You know what? I think we're going to start using the old jetpack here. It's taking way too long. Got an oxygen patch over there. That's where our ship is. Let's go ahead and head in. Let's go ahead and just get it to start with. See what we get out of our boxes. Get rusted metal as usual from this. Ion battery, excellent. We needed one of those anyway. I'm going to make more, but it's a good start. I, I checked this, and occasionally it's got stuff in it. A little quicker way to get things done. Okay. We're going to do that real quick. So we need a hermetic seal and two metal plates. We got the copper, thank heavens. Which copper do we have? Plenty. Hermetic seal. We have enough ferret for two metal plates. Three, four, six. I think we need seven total, if I remember correctly. Um, I want to say we need at least three. I think we need four. I could be wrong, but I think we need three. All right, uh, multi-tool. Boink, boink. Come on, boink. There we go. That's done. Let's get the achievement. Okay. Uh, we don't get anything yet. I'm taking too long. Come on, come on, come on. Stop it, stop it. Okay, good. <laughs> See, metal plates, oxygen. We got the condensed carbon to build this already, so we're in good shape, but we need a lot more condensed carbon. We need more of this. Uh, let's put this in the ship real quick. Uh, uninstall this, move it over, that gives us more condensed carbon, and a hundred. Okay, good, I didn't know that. Scanner, yeah, I'll go ahead and grab it. It's in there. Uh, can we get rid of this? We need sodium. Uh, let's see, chromatic metal, hermetic seal, and more sodium. Yeah, we can't do really much with these. Oh, this one too. Cobalt we can do. Cobalt. All right, so we're in good shape. All right. Get that. Let's get the achievement. And it gives us life support gel and a movement module. Let's go ahead and grab it real quick because it will help. Put you in here while we're at it. Okay, good. Need more of these. You know what? I can make them, but I don't have enough to make more. So I need more ferrite. Uh, I need condensed carbon this way and ferrite as well. I'll go ahead and grab it because it's a resource and I have to grab it. And we'll need more ferrite, right? Is that what I said? Yes, I did. Oh, so you know what we should be doing, right? Well, we should be taking you... Where's my silly? And I only need 90. I'm going to adjust it. Get that started. Okay, good. Another scan. Ferrite dust. I don't need a lot. I just need enough to make a few more batteries. And I'll get the rest of my ferrite that I needed at the space station. But this should be enough. Okay. Condensed carbon. Looks like we got a bunch over here. I'm going to use my jetpack. How are we doing on eggs? I didn't check that was in there. 
Seven. Okay, yeah, we're good. We're good. Oh, sodium nitrate? Look at you. I need about 90 of you. I don't think I'm going to get it, but that's okay. I'm familiar with the spot now. One of these is going to give us an exosuit upgrade chart. There it is. All right, good. Is there another one? Yeah, I missed it. Good. It's a big one here. This ought to do really good. This should be all we need. This will be it. And I'm going to check my sodium nitrate levels as well. Okay, good. Real quick. Back in here. Take the 90. Select it. Hydrogen. We have... 50 sodium nitrate. How much sodium do we have? Make some of that and get that going. Back to the ship. And I think we're ready to go. I think we're ready to get off this planet. So 23, not bad. Um, and I'll, get, I'll be getting off the planet around the 25 mark, it seems. Um, enough walking. I need to get moving. Seven larval eggs. We'll get the rest if we have to add our first... <laughs> you know, I'm sorry. I've got to do this. Let's gather the stuff. Because, you know what? In the end, this stuff is very, very handy. Jeez. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and grab it anyway. I know that took a little bit of extra time, but you know what the benefit is, is I've got my nanites now. Okay, let's get in the ship. Okay, so what do we need? we got the magnetized ferrite. We've got that. We need both of those. We've got that. And we're going to start repairing stuff as we go. we got to repair a bunch as well. We're here now. Let's go fix it. Uh, get the magnetized ferrite to fix that. We've got condensed carbon. We've got copper. Okay, good. We need some chromatic metal. Um, hold on. There. Okay. Oh, good. Good. That's excellent. Let's get the chromatic metal going. So we'll need our copper, copper, copper. There you are. Keep 100. Get the rest. All right. Let's get off this planet. Off we go. All right. 25, as usual, right? I don't know where the planet is. There it is behind me. Of course it is. Sluggish. Sluggish. It, it's not even lined up. I don't know what it's aiming for. That's the weirdest thing in the world. There we go. All right, there we go. Let's get back in here. So, I'm going to go ahead and just put this in here. It's it's It could come in handy. Uh, what else we got? Let's go back to the Starship because we've got an upgrade. Two. There we go. Scanner module. Yeah, we'll just throw it here. While we're here, let's fix that. Put you back down here. Uh, what do we need? Chromatic metal. We need carbon nanotube, which we're going to make soon. And does that give us what we're looking for? No, we need one more thing to get what we need. Okay. Oh, no, we got it. Good. Excellent. We'll gather that just as we get into the station after we get our... We cross the threshold here. Just got to get through this real quick. Go over here and get my reward because, you see, we get 40 salvage data from it. And an upgrade for our multi-tool. Excellent. Up we go. While we're here, real quick, 
pull the stuff out. Is there anything else we want to do while we're here? Yes, there is one thing. These are not worth much, but they give us a lot of that. 300. We need 16, right? Where's the rest? There you are. That's 800 now. This takes a couple moments, and I like to get it done now. Uh, let's see. These are worth a lot. More so than I think these. So that gives us a thousand now. Fifteen hundred. We need two eggs. There you are. Sixteen hundred. Done. Is there anything else we need to do while we're in here? We need more magnetized ferrite. Yes, we do. And I'll start working that right now. Okay, go. Because <clears throat> that gives us something real quick here. Let's see. Not worth it right now. That one, yes. And that one. Back in. Ah, yes, of course. I don't need them up there. Okay. And now we got our other one. Which is going to be over here. Okay. Okay. Come on, get in there. Thank you. Alright, so we're going to sell a whole bunch of stuff. I'm just going to folio. Uh, let's see, hold on. So suit upgrade chart gives us a little bonus. Nip Nip Buds, the Rhythm Manus Manuscript. The six larval cores so far, right? And it does count. Where is my... Oh, I guess I have to go over here. Duh. Okay. That's it. All right. Got plenty of money now. Let's go in here. We need... Down to the bottom. One fecium. We'll need... All the silicate powder you can get me. All the carbon you can get me. And the rusted metal that you can get me. And I'm going to get all of these... Hey, yeah, I can get out real quick. I can put all of it in my starship. I'm just going to move it over real fast here. I'll keep that there. And let's open these up in case we get money. We didn't get money. Okay, then we're done. We don't need to do anything more here. There is a couple other things we can get. Um, we do have the money for it, so we might as well just get it because we're here. Um, is this. Just how many can you get? One, two, three, four. So I can get three of them. I'm just going to go ahead and get them. Okay, and that's going to be over here. One, two, three... Um, movement module. Excellent. See, that really came in handy to do that then. Excellent, excellent. Nice boost. Heliostat. Oh, wow. It gave us some more chromatic metal. Fantastic. Pure ferrite. Let's get our magnetized going. All right. Anything else we need to do here? Looks like we've got everything we need. We still have a hermetic seal and this. Let's get a few more. What can I not make? Why? Why? All right, dust. Because <laughs> I've made it all. All right. And how are we doing on... Our life support is up to snuff. Uh, looks like we're good to go. Let's get out of here. We'll do the hyperdrive installation in a minute. We're going to get our asteroids now. 30 minutes out of the space station. I would love to be out of the space station at the 25 minute mark. So that's something I'm going to work on. Come on. Wow, it's like I'm hitting these rocks and they're not doing anything. There we go. Okay. It's kind of a narrow field. It isn't a heavy one, but there is enough to hit here that it doesn't really cause me a problem. It's not as dense a field as some these uh, particular asteroids. Just move around. And keep your guns going a little bit, because even the rocks in the distance, the little ones, are getting hit and you don't even realize it. And... It's handy that way. Give it a few seconds to blow apart there. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Ah, good. Gold nugget. Excellent. Should just... Oh, I was just about to say, we should just about be there. Okay. There's two things I need here. I really just need the activated copy. That's what I found. 
okay? So if we can find activated copper in a couple places to land, we're in good shape. Let's get our engines going a little bit faster here. I used to go in the water and get stuff, and now I'm holding off on that. Landing zone. Go ahead and grab that. Oh, that's weird. Okay. We need to go in here real quick. Okay, we got our magnetized ferrite, so we should be in good shape. Let's put... I had a thought, and I lost it suddenly. Magnetized ferrite, so power. This. In here. We need ferrite. Because we're going to need other things, too. Um, so let's take a look around. We're obviously going to scan things while we're here. There's only a couple of plants. It's like one plant on this entire planet. Um, and we also could use uh, peptaloid wheat if we can find any. Uh, but we're going to look at the deposits too. So uranium would be very handy to get right about now. And I find I can't really do without it. So I'm going to go for the uranium here. Uh, let's see. Plants, plants, plants. Strawberry. Activated copper. Good. All right. So we'll head that direction here in a minute. I need to check my... Sodium nitrate. When I'm out of... Ah, oh, scan it. Purple plants are what we're looking for in regards to the other plants that are on this planet. Okay. Go ahead and use a battery. Oh, we're here. Uh, train manipulator. Small. I need about a hundred. I don't need a lot. I just need enough to get by. I wonder if I can just go to a larger setting and suck all this stuff up. It doesn't seem to make a difference. How much I get if I do it that way. So go to the smaller setting for now. Got about 50, 60, 70. We're up to about 80. 90. Should get us what we're looking for. Alright, that gets us to about 100. Alright, good. We're over 100. We should be good. While we're here, scan this plant. Animals. Should be a couple of them over here. Can't see that one. It's too far away. Back the way we came because there was some activated copper over here. Looks like we got a storm coming in. Is that what it said? I don't care. I don't know. I'll have to check the rads. Ship should have good launch. So I'll be getting some steps in here. So watch the rads. If the storm really is coming in, the clouds should be populating it. I don't see it yet. Ah, something more to scan. Good. Rads are not increasing. Okay, good. So it wasn't a storm, it was just my... I hope this is a good spot. Okay, we do have a storm coming in now, right? Okay, we're going to go ahead and hit our... Oh, don't tell me this is a bad spot. It says it's activated copper, but I don't think it is. It's done that to me before. It is, but it's not exactly what we're looking for. It's a very bad deposit. We'll get what we can out of it real quick, but I'll have to pull on the ship. Because we're going to get a wind event any minute now. Alright, I think that's enough. That's all right. Scan. Let's look for a landing zone. The more of those we can get here, we'll be in good shape. We don't have to get a whole lot. We don't have to get a whole lot because 
All we need is the activated copper now. It's the only thing we have left. We've already scanned a whole bunch of stuff. There's one. Okay. So if I can get some activated copper, I'll be in good shape. And when you pull your ship in, everything resets on it. So don't forget that. Okay, folks. Oh, come on. Spin. Drop it in. Ah, we could do the eggs here if we wanted to, but it might be a bit difficult. I'm going to go ahead and grab the box because I'm also need um, microprocessors. Oh, life support gel will be handy. Just the windstorm? Did I miss that? Yeah, it looks like it is. Boop. Got a hole. Park in here for just a second. Alright, do we get anything out of this? We do need this. Let's go ahead and do it real quick. Get our inventory slots and stuff. Uh, let's get our hyperdrive installed. Okay. Move you over, move you over, and move you over. Okay. And... How much gold do we end up with? 65. We need more gold, so we're going to need... And we can get that later. I know where to get that from. Okay, we're in good shape. There we go. I think that's all we needed. That's what we need the gold for, by the way. Oh, we can't charge yet. Okay. Let's go someplace else real quick. Because we might as well use our time. Go this way. And we'll scan. If the storm wasn't raging, we would have a much, much better time of it, but... Don't know why the music is going. Acting like I'm in a battle with Sentinels, but I'm not. Okay. Okay. All events are over. Ah, I'm stuck in the rocks. I don't think these are plants. No, they're not. Okay, I think so. the chest. Alright, what do we got? I need activated copper right there. Okay, let's go. Mining beam out, good. Because guess what we can get while we're on our way? Some nice deposit of dense carbon. Thank heavens. This will be all we need for the rest of the game. Excellent. Okay. Alright. We've been doing a lot of running. The weather is holding out. I'm going to take a jump across this. Is that another animal I haven't... Nope, I've scanned them all. Good. You? Got it. Another not-so-great deposit. Unbelievable. Ugh. Not so much luck here. This is going to give us a lot of silicate on top of it. It's a halfway decent deposit. It is not a great one. See, you get a lot of silicate out of this, so your best option is just go ahead and go to the larger setting 
and gather up what you can. You need about 400 or so activated copper at this point. We're not going to get it out of this deposit, I'll tell you that. If we get a couple hundred, we'd be in good shape, but I don't think we're going to... It's a pretty huge deposit, but... Hoping to be out of the system by now, but hmm, as huge as the deposit is, we might get what we're looking for here. got a good amount. I think we got what we needed. Let's pull on our ship. Check our inventory. How we doing? Yeah, we're good. Excellent. We're out of here. We need nothing more from this place. Let's get out of here. Alright. So, we got some work to do. We don't have any... go any of those so we're gonna make them i need more chromatic metal of course let me get my ferrite dust out of here and need where's the activated copper going there you are put it in but i'm gonna pull out that much. charge you and go i don't know how much we need let me find out hold on i need 14 more. And then how much? 28? Okay. There we go. Got our last one. We're going to go into our starship and fix it. And I'm going to shoe in. Okay, good. We're all set. Um, where's my upgrades for my hyperdrive? That's an achievement. Hold on. Milestone. Milestone. Is it you? No? nutrient processor and I didn't get my hermetic uh, what do you call it my uh, eptaloid wheat we can get it on the next planet ah uh, there we go should be over here okay I should have some upgrades and I don't know why I don't have them. hold on a second so this is not going to count against us crashed ship I forgot my trashed ship that's what I'm forgetting uh let's Get it on the next planet, I guess. Okay. Yeah, let's do that, I guess. Let's give it a shot. I haven't done that before. But we're going to have some extra jumps here, unfortunately. Because I want to get out of the system bad. We'll need... One plate and a hermetic seal, which we should already have in our inventory, so we should be good there. A lot of people land at the Atlas. Um, I don't know why. You're going to get warp hyper cores later, so why bother? To me, it just doesn't make any sense. Okay, there's the system. Go next. And we'll have one more jump after this to get to a system that we're really aiming for. Now, getting a Sentinel ship would be really cool if I can get my... Oh, would you stop it? Oh, my gosh. There we go. Astina is where we're headed for. That's the plant. That's the system we're really looking at. But we took us an extra couple of jumps. Normally, I get there in one jump. So, a, a getting a Sentinel ship would be great, but we're probably not going to end up with one at all. It requires too much... Um, too much to get done rather than just looking for a crashed ship. We're headed there. Go. We got a few things we're going to do here. It's a good planet.
let's get into inventory here real quick and let's go ahead and start doing some stuff i think i have enough time to do this and for knife that'll give us our good this can we get done it's all bonus bonus materials right there you in one more okay, good you got on a reward okay got everything we got six of those let's get rid of the chart we don't need it let's go over here get the rest out i'm gonna get rid of that i'm gonna move it over i don't think we ever use that material that thing's still chugging along huh okay insufficient fuel <laughs> My bad. There we go. We're on our way. And I think we just needed one more of these. No, eight. We got eight. We should be all right. And we need to be closer to water. Yeah, that looks all right. That looks all right. We're okay here. Straight down. Straight down. Get the... Get the... Come on. Get moving. I don't think there's any places to land along here. Sometimes I found them, sometimes not. So we're just going to go ahead and land once we see a good cropping of those things right there. Yes. Now, one of these things that this particular planet has as well is you also have uh, copper here if you need it, as well as salt deposits. Um, we can't do that yet. We're going to do this. I'm going to go in here and select here. Crash ship. Okay. And it'll find one. It's not going to find a sentinel ship. It'll find a regular, ordinary crash ship. There you go. And we'll do that while we're here. It's a good planet to do it on. Okay, good. Down. Collect. All right. Scan. Lots, lots to scan here. We've got animals here. Um, lots of plants. Plant life, there we go. Focus, 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 focus. More plants. Plants are really good. We got star brambles here, which means we should have heptaloid wheat, so take a look around for that. Look at all these guys. Butterflies. Uh, hard to see everything. There's so much stuff to see. I just want to make sure I didn't walk past some heptaloid weed. We'll check over there real quick, but I don't think that's what... It's impulse beans, but sometimes the impulse beans have something sitting next to them. Alright, we got our mining beam out. We need three radiant shards, and we need a hundred Atlantidium. I missed it. That's hilarious. Okay, that's three. And we need Atlantidium. I thought we would have a whole bunch of it. Hoping to find the bigger ones, but... There's a lot of flapping going on, guys. Sorry. All right, how we doing? Atlantidium, we're up to 57. We need bunches more. Uh, let's scan this plant real quick. There's an animal over that way, but I don't know. Right there. It must be underground. Oh, Atlantidium. We'll go ahead and grab it. Lots of condensed carbon on this planet, too, guys. If you need it. That should probably get it. Yep, we got it. Good. Got everything we need. Another plant. Okay. Alright, let's head towards the water. We like to do a few things here because of the calmness of the planet. It gives me an opportunity to get um, stuff from the water. The uh, It's okay, I know this. Crystal sulfides. Look at that, all that 
dense carbon that we landed next to. That's hilarious. Bushes we can scan as well. Right here. Good. Need oxygen is a good place to get it from. Those plants, you can get it from the balls that are on the plants. It's fantastic. Salt. I didn't need the carbon. That's okay. We need salt. Need a hundred of it. 59. This should give us the rest of it. I like to get it while I'm standing on the shore because then nothing attacks me. 103. Excellent. That'll work. We're looking for crystal sulfides. There's a few over here. Let's head this direction. More than a few. Looks like we got all four right here. Five. Two, three, one. Two and three. Go, go, go. Much nicer planet to do this from. Plus, we can scan the animals while we're here. One, two, and three. I think there was another one right here. There is. One, two. I think it's going to blow. Three. We got one more. Water jets. That was the good thing I got out of this one. Two. Three. We got them all. Son of a gun. Biological entity. We got plants. More biological entities. Another plant. Anything else? Plant. Oh, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. Okay, good. Excellent job. Alright, we got everything we needed here. I don't think there's anything else we need except heptaloid weed. Do we have any? Let's check, just check over by the impulse beans. Occasionally you get lucky. And there's a heptaloid wheat near it. I don't see one near that one. Pulse at 172. Star Bramble. Impulse. One unit will mask the other. There's another one over here, right? Sweet root. Check over there. Just every now and then, you get fortunate. I, I don't mind taking the extra couple steps to get there. Hint, hint. Okay, that is just sweet root. Okay. We need wheat. Alright, I am not seeing it. Okay, so let's head back. We'll get some, hopefully, by the ship. Uh, the crash ship, that is. Alright, I'm going to boost back. I think we're wasting enough time. This. You see, we're coming up on the hour mark. We still haven't gotten what we're looking for. We're not at even at our uh, rendezvous one yet. Most people will be on and off this planet real quick. But we've gotten a bunch of stuff done here, so that was really, really good. Alright, let's get to our crashed ship. Kind of efficient. Just get another sip of coffee. Like have it's still warm. Like cold, like cold coffee, huh? Ah, well, cold coffee could be all right too, I guess. Going in for landing. First thing I'm going to do is quick scan. Looking for. See, we've got impulse beans again. Sweet root again. I know we've got heptaloid wheat around here someplace. Pulpy. It's giving me everything but what I'm looking for. This is going to be Star Bramble, yes, of course. Because it's in clumps. Biological entity. Sweet root again. Okay, so we'll take a quick run around the outer perimeter here. And we'll check. Alright, here you go. Air. Flame. Get in here. We're going to go ahead and fix you. We already got the parts. Ah, we are short one. One magnetized ferrite. Can you believe it? <sighs> if 
Alright, dust. You know what? Give me some more. Let me get about 50. That's what we needed the extra ferrite for. See? It happens to me all the time. I don't know why. Go in here. Fixed. Anything else we can pull from this? Oh, we got an S-Class upgrade. Go. Alright, good. Cave. I don't see any plants, though, so I'm not going to bother. Put these all the way in my ship real fast here so we can get rid of them. We need some more plates, but that's okay. Uranium can go in our ship. Get that moving. All right. Pulse engine and shield module. Uh, we'll go ahead and put the pulse engine in just because. Uh, I think that's it. How are we doing on life support? That'll get us where we need to be. Um, we talked about heptaloid wheat. I need heptaloid wheat. This will probably be the best planet to get from. You know what? There is a better planet I can get it. Let's go. On out of the system. Hyperdrive has no fuel. Of course it doesn't. Alright, hold on. Stop pulsing. Can we make hyperdrive fuel? I don't know. We can. Before we do that, do we get some? We don't get any, but we get stuff. Uh, Call of the Void will give us the warp hypercore plants and 10 antimatter, so let's go ahead and do that. This hyperdrive upgrade. Ah, thought I could get into it fast enough. Alright. So. This we need. This we need. 565. Yeah, if we just need... We just need one cell. For now. There we go. Kind of stinks. But there we are. I was hoping we could do it. That's why some people go to the... Uh, Atlas station so they can get two free hypercores. But to me it takes a lot less time to do it this way. Now, before we go to Rendezvous 1, we're going to stop at the Cold Planet there. We're going to pick up all of our bones, and we're going to get the rest of, well, most of the rest of our, um, waypoints. Don't adjust your ship. Go straight at the planet. I did that by accident. I didn't mean to do that. <clears throat> Why is that? Because when you come into the planet on a straight path, there should be this. Oi. Slow down. That. Right there. If it is what I think it is. <clears throat> if I move too much, we'll be off by, you know, kilometers. Nope. It isn't what I thought it was. Usually it's a landing pad that you can land on. But that's okay. We get our one of our points. One of our waypoints. Okay. Got it. Alright, so what do we got to do here? So we're going to get this in a little bit here. It's going to take some time now at this point. Um, we'll get these two later on as well. we got a good amount of exploration on foot that we've done so far. We'll get this at Rendezvous 1. Uh, we need seven more plants. We'll get, a, we'll get a few here. Two, maybe three tops. Uh, we need eight bones. So that's what we're aiming for right now. Uh, on this planet, we'll get those. And we'll get our five ancient ruins as well as our waypoints. I need six. I need six of these from here. So this is going to take a little bit of time. Let's get started. First thing we want to do, look around. Let's get away from everything here real fast. Uh, let's go ahead and scan you. Plant life, we'll get it. This is the other plant, the only plant on the planet that you can get other than the hazardous ones. We'll get biological entities. Biological entity. And the the cold here is not going to be that pronounced. 
Okay, we got a natural berry site at 523 and another one at 187. We're going to get that knocked out real quick then. Okay, let's go. Let's go ahead and get those. <clears throat> Pardon me. And if you find yourself short on ca on carbon, hang on a second. There, we're back. If we find yourself short on carbon, the one carbon-based plant on this planet will get you a lot. Boom. See? 300 out of one plant. Usually you get about 150. Wow, there is a lot of bones here. There's, what, four? I think? Looks like four. Don't care about the rare items. Be honest. Three. And four. Alright, so four. That's good. And we had another one real close by, too, right? So we got four. Scan for animals. Birds. Anything that we have floating around. There's another spot up here. It's a beacon. Beacons don't help us at all. Don't even bother. Another thing on this planet is that you've got copper, dioxide, and silver. If you want to get some dioxide, it's up to you. You're probably not going to need it. It should You should have enough life support gels to get you through the rest of this. Look at that. More bones over there. That's fantastic. So if we need more, we can take a walk over there. This should get most of our steps in, by the way. If we get about 8,000 steps all total while we're on this planet, then we're in really good shape. Hey, look what we found. You know what we can do now? We can do it right this second, I think. We don't have the Fecium on us, do we? It's in the ship. Yep, we'll do it when we get back to the ship. Alright, so we'll do it then. And while we're here, how many plates do I have? I have none. There we go. I don't think we needed that many. I think we only needed two. Ah, it's alright. No big deal. Alright, so we need... Five more bones. No, three. Five, four. Four more bones. And it looks like we have five here. Fantastic. This will complete our bones. So there's one. Two. Three. Special. We don't want the special. We don't care. Four. Also special. Oh, okay. Well, we'll get all five. All right. Where is that? That was a beacon that we saw. Is there anything else around here? Building-wise, no. Let's pull in the ship, shall we? How are we doing steps? Let's check that out. It's in two. 7,300. Wow, we're doing really, really good. All right, let's go ahead and pull it out. There we go. <sighs> here we, here we, here we, here we go. Hour five, we're doing good on the bones. So the next thing we want to do, let's go ahead and put a signal booster down. Let's go ahead and put our nutrient processor down. Let's get the nutrient processor working. We need to put the fecium in. Get this out of the way. Heptaloid wheat. Just need one. And wild beast. Got it. Poop bread. Done. That should get that one. And while we're here, we're going to... Oh, we have to tell it what we're looking for. Hold on. So we need ancient structures, right? Ancient ruins. Go ahead and do that. Now, we've gotten... How many did we get so far? We got four waypoints. We need six more. Okay. Now, while you're doing it, you can get one ancient structure and one plaque if it will find one close enough. There we go. Good. So do it twice, and you, you got that out of the way. While we're waiting, get rid of that, that, that. Get rid of these. Okay. And that. Okay, good. Efficiency, efficiency, efficiency. So while we're checking it out, how far away is this one? We're going to start heading towards it. And that one says 13 minutes, and this one says... Hello, come on. Seven minutes. So that one's closer. We'll go there. Before we go out to space, do a quick scan. Does any buildings land? If not, head up. Okay, down we go. There. Locked in. Go. Boom. Oh, 
I'm going to stay up high to get a little more speed and then come in. Because we called in, we got to switch our diversion, divert our power back to our guns here. Oh, uh, pardon me. My engines. Oh, can I land on top? No, it's not going to let me. All right. Sometimes I can land on top of it if I get it done right. So I'll just take the hit this time. How's my jetpack doing? How high up can we go? Ooh, that's good. That's good to know. We should be able to get to the high, uh, to the topmost thing of the, of the uh, other place. The, what do you call it? The scanner, is it called? Nope, can't can't do it this time. All right, so that didn't help us at all. Let's go jump down. Um, do we have any buildings nearby? Just remember, if you find a, because these are reminding me of it. If you find something that looks like a uh, grave or something like that, you cannot do it. Come on. All right, we're gonna go to the other one. Do a quick scan. Any buildings? No. Okay, good. Not good, but good. Let's do one more scan before we go, because we're heading in a different direction. Nothing. Okay, go up. Again, we need six buildings, so. Because we'll get two at rendezvous one. Stay up high. Come on, stay up high, and then come in low. Straight. Down we go. Sometimes it works better this way. Do a quick scan. Oh, perfect. I'll land right next to it. Good. Jump out. I am going to drop you down while we're waiting. This is two. Okay. One. Again, while you're waiting, get some stuff done. I don't need this shield module. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. It's food. How are we doing on food? All right. All right. And one more time. Not going to find it. Good. So we'll get it later. We need two more. Uh, where is it here? It is that way. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Is it really that close? Son of a gun. Right close by. That's good. Okay, knowledge of the GEC increases. Go ahead and get this going. Uh, let's do some more reorganizing of our stuff here. Good amount of copper. Okay, good. Looks like we got a lot of everything that we need. One more time. Good, we found two. Alright, so this will be the last two that we need. Very nice. Here. We don't really need this. This is kind of driving me. Okay, and we're done pulling these up. And if I'm not mistaken, I think we have two left. One for our um, Fallen Traveler and one more for our Navigation Place. Alright, so which one's closer? You say you're 35 minutes. You say you're 5. Okay, let's go there. Got to get the timing right. Stay up high. We haven't scanned, so we're going to have to scan when we come in. Again, I need six. I can get three. There are three locations there that I can get. Ah, good. That'll work. Let's park kind of right in between. We'll get a couple extra steps in this way. Let's get this first. Of course, our running juice is going to run out, I'm sure. Yep, yeah, there it goes. Okay. We could have landed over there and used less uh, less launch thrusters. I'm sure you were thinking the same thing. Okay, all the way over here. Okay, that's five. And we're going to go back this way. This is not far.
Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Look, a pit. <laughs> All right, let's get some... Let's go here. How, how, how are we doing on steps? Let's find out. Yeah, we're almost at 8,000 at this point. This will get us to 8,000. We'll get about five, 600 on a freighter, derelict freighter, and we should be able to get the rest fairly easily, I would think, no matter what we do. So, I didn't mean to let that run out. Get that guy? Yeah, we did. Let's get you. And done. Where's our ship at? Right over here. Not far. Not far. See, I want to get these steps in now because I, that way I don't have to worry about them later. From this point forward, I can stay close to my ship. See, we're already like coming up in an hour and 15. Real time, of course. We spent some time in our menus. We spent some time in hyperspace, obviously. So we're not going to get everything we want. But this may not turn out to be any kind of a record-breaking run. I'm probably going to end up at the same time I had before. I'm guessing. Uh, let's quick scan. Ooh, we got a place. Let's drop down in here real quick. Let me just see what steps are at right now. Come on. Eight, almost 8,200, see? Do we need any of this? I don't think we need that. No, not really. No, not really. And no, not really. We got 17 to 32 creatures. How are we doing on plants? Five more to go. Excellent. Excellent. We're in good shape. Here. Got it. Ship. Go. Oh, another scan real quick. We got a, a beacon there. That's not going to help us at all. One more scan real quick just to make sure there isn't something nearby. There isn't. Okay. So we're up to, I think, six. We need at least three more. <clears throat> Waypoints, that is. Like I said, this is a lovely planet. I've said this before to do a lot of this on because the weather stays pretty constant. <clears throat> you don't usually have any problems. I've never seen a blizzard here. Just check real quick. Ah, we can do it this time. Ah, no it didn't. Ah, <laughs> fooled me, didn't you? All right. That's okay. Up we go. We got this one done. Just get the knowledge, and we're done. Okay. Okay, quick jump. Scan. Now we need three more, right? So we're going to head in a cardinal direction. South should do it. And we're just going to jet and scan. Hopefully, we'll find... Hopefully, game, we'll find some places to drop in on. You're not showing me anything. Why aren't you showing me anything? This is ridiculous. This at all. Good. Got a landing pad for it, too. Save some launch thrusters. Okay, that should be seven. Correct. Let's find out. Seven. Correct. Okay, we need at least two more. Sometimes there's one really close by, but I don't see it this time. And we're actually using our eyes, too, not just that. There we go. There's one. Not a beacon, I hope. Good. Okay, that's eight or nine. What are we up to? Eight. We got one more. Definitely we need to do. Right in front of me. If we can get a tenth one, it'd be great. As long as this isn't a beacon, we should be good. It is a beacon. Right. Okay, that's it all. They don't count. Oh, good. This one right there. Should not be a beacon. Wow, we're really kind of skimming the surface here. 
We had to take out a uh, Death Star, we'd be in good shape, but that's not why we do. <clears throat> Drop it down. Drop it down. There we go. Thank you. Uh, right over here. Okay, that's nine. One more. One more? Kind? No? You're not going to give it to me, are you? Uh, we're not even heading south, are we? Or north, or whatever direction we were heading in. Ah, one right there. Please don't be a beacon. It's a beacon. Crap. There's another one over here. Hopefully it's not one I've already been to. Okay, good. And then we can head on to Rendezvous 1. Isn't it funny? We're just now hitting Rendezvous 1. We're already well into an hour over. <clears throat> oh. There we go. On our way. Okay. That's it. Let's get into space and go to Rendezvous 1. On our way. 53 seconds it takes us to get there. We've got plenty of wiring looms. We should be good there. Um, we aren't going to get anything else until later. Let's go ahead and put the shield in, maybe. No? Alright, we'll uninstall it. We'll get some more stuff out of it. Okay. We're okay on gold for now. I don't think we're going to need any more. Although the pyrite would be very, very handy, but that's okay. I think we're well arranged in there. Do we have anything in here? Let's get our ferrite dust. I think we're in good shape. Life support is alright. Yeah, we'll eat that later, I think. I don't know. Alright, so we're going to hit our... Just before we hit Rendezvous 1, we're going to get our... Uh, height thing. Where is that at? 3? 2. Just aim straight for it. This mountain that you're on has two points that could be very high. That one, I think, is the one that I usually use. Let me just take a spin around real quick. That one might be it, too. So, let's go over here. We should be able to make it from here. And it should tell us. Just a moment, the bottom right. Unless we've already got it. We did. We got it already. So we're what we needed. Okay. So we can go on to Rendezvous 1. There we go. Follow the point behind us. And it should be just to the right. Usually down the slope over here. Right there. Look for a landing pad. Good. Way to save our thrusters. Scan while you're here. Go. Made it. Scan three plants. One. Two. Three. And if you're fortunate enough, and you can find a plant in here, like this one. Can't seem to get locked in on it. There it is. Four. Okay, pull back. You should get some creatures popping up on the uh, ledge up there. Just a minute. There they are. And if you needed a third building, you could have gone here. And I don't think... That's pulling me. Okay, I was wondering. About it. There's one more creature up there. We're going to go ahead and grab it. Two. And sometimes some pop up over here. Good. Three. Alright, good. And if you need to get your... Rest of your eggs is a good place to get them from. So before we leave, we want to hit this. That's number 11. And now we're going to scan, as it's telling us to do, for transmitter. That's one of our last. We have one more of those surge batteries, but that's all we could should need. We just need it for our uh, hero later on. Our fallen traveler, if you will. Okay, pick it up and go. You are done with Rendezvous 1. When you're going to Rendezvous 1, I suggest sticking to the valleys. Not not low, 
stick high because it thinks that you're higher in the atmosphere than you really are and you can go faster as you can see. So rather than heading straight there, try to go higher. And then as you come in, you'll, you'll go a little bit quicker, see? Saves you a little bit of time. Land, grab your marker over there, the survey unit, and you should get your number 12 now. Done. Go. And I think my jetpack should be strong enough to go all the way up. Yes, it does. I was lucky then. Okay, get it. Put some sodium in here. Should be here. Go. One more time. And now we're going to do a one more thing here. There we go. And it'll give us the anomaly. Excellent. Remember to run as often as you can. Okay. And we're on our way. You can scan for more animals here if you want, but you're going to get plenty of animals. Don't worry. Pull on the anomaly, and we'll head straight towards it. Okay. Now, the whole events that happen through the anomaly are going to help you. Let's check real quick where we are stepwise. Uh, let's see. we got one more plant to get, by the way. See? We're almost there. We'll get it here. We will literally get it here. We should get 500 steps easily. So, we don't have to worry too much. I can use my jetpack a little bit in the anomaly. Excellent. Remember, that's not real time up. <clears throat> that's our time up there. That's not game time. We're probably about the 105 to 110 mark in-game. So, we're doing pretty good. It's not great, but we're doing good. Um, I'm just going to go straight towards the back because I know where I need to go, and I know my steps are in good shape. Watch the run juice. Get about halfway, go again. And we should be able to get the rest of the way, and it'll charge while we're standing here. We should have everything we need to build this. Okay, come on. There we go. Yep, we got everything. See? And it's the activated copper you needed. 64 of it. And we are accepting the coordinates. Let's go. Now, we may not get all 500 steps in here, but we're going to get... A few hundred at the very least. The derelict freighter will definitely give us the rest of the steps we need. I'm just going to go straight to my ship. And we're on our way. Good deal. Now we got rendezvous one. Let me just check something because I think we get... Yeah, we get inventory slots out of it. Let's go ahead and get those. There we go. Where to? Up. There. On our way. Remember, we are in the second phase. So if there's anything else you need to do here, you can get it done. We can't do this yet until we complete this. So we have to get this done. Um, do we have anything we can collect? Bones to dust don't give us anything. I don't think we really get anything out of these. Nautilin. We need the Nautilin. No. No. And so let's get that. Come on. Enough of that. Uh, let's see. And Do we need anything from here? That was that. Okay, good. One. It's just this. And I think we're pretty good here. We don't need any of these things, if I'm not mistaken. We don't. Okay. Let's just keep going. So we got our Nautilin. That requires five metal plates. So we have a metal plate here. I'm going to move it over. We're going to get rid of this. Move the ion battery to my other inventory. Move that over. Good there. Let's go ahead and charge you up. Plenty of that. Don't have a lot of that. We need... We don't need that. We have one of those left. Good. Exosuit. 
how we doing over here? We got the mind arc. We got everything we need. We got a couple of batteries left. I don't think we're going to need them. Um, let me drop that in there and get it going. Just in case we need more chromatic metal, but we're probably not going to need it. All right, excellent. Hey, we're in good shape. Now, this is an aggressive planet. If you want to shut down the Sentinels because you want to do some stuff here, all the way over here on the left is a Sentinel... Um, you know what that is. And you can shut them down if you wish. I don't care. I'm not doing anything else here. I'm not going to take the green landing pad because some idiot built a base here. I don't know why. Because you can't get to anything here. So you have to do this. And it's just a waste of our time. There. So I'd have to go inside of his base in order to do what I needed to do. And it's just, I don't feel like finding your door, dude. Get rid of your base. Don't produce bases there. It's just ridiculous. They think they're helping, and they're really not. And it has nothing to do with speed running. It just... It's rude. That's all I can say. All right. We don't have to gather any more resources. We are done gathering resources, of course. Uh, we do need to get three robotic animals. We're going to get them after this whole scenario is done. And then we'll move on. We're coming up on the hour and a half mark real real time. So we'll see how this goes. We should have another 30 minutes or less, I'm hoping. We got our 9,000 steps. Look at that. I'm just going to let him float for a few moments. I didn't realize there was an atlas in the system, too. That's very interesting, right? We just got to wait, unfortunately. There's nothing we can do. Don't go in your menus. There's no use in doing so. It wastes more time. And there we go. Off we go. Now, what I'm hoping to do, if I can get that time down to about 155 main time, I think we'll be in good shape. I'm hoping to get a little lower, but we'll see what happens. Okay, there we go. Finally. Um, scan. For plants, I've got one plant right there I know I can scan, so I'm going to scan it. And look what we ended up with. Jade peas right there. It looks like there might be some... No, no, there isn't. I thought there might be some heptaloid wheat there. Uh, you're facing your ship, but since I don't need to get my steps in, I'm going to pull this in. I'm going to look around for animals I can scan. I'm going to look around for animals I can scan that will show on my... Inf yeah, there we go. Two... Like there's a few over there. Three. You four. Okay, we got our animals. We got our plants. I'll scan one more plant just in case, but I'm pretty sure that's it. All right, we're done. So before we get attacked, we should get our plant. Planting the potted plant thing. Here, hold on. Three? It's in three. Yeah, there it is. Life reimagined. And you don't need any of that if you don't really want it. Uh, let's see. We need this. So before we go any further, let's go ahead and get this put in. That's where our cadmium comes in and our wiring loops. We can also now make a warp hyper core because now we have these. So if your warp drive is getting a little low, there you are. I can go a couple more warps before I use it. Excellent. Nope, oh, we need to get out in space first. Would have pulsed, but that's okay. Actually, since that's done, we just got to go to Rendezvous 2, so let me go ahead and get in here. We're not going there yet. We're going to get our robotic life forms first. Really close by in the red star systems down here. Nudavi is one that you can go to, and the other one is there, Tuamu. You can get all your robotic life forms here. So this first one we're going to is a little bit distancey, if you will. It's got a long distance to get to the planet question. But you're saving time because you don't have to land at one of these planets, get some emerald, and go to a blue planet. So it's all the way over here, right there, the one with the rings. Just aim for it and go on our way. 
scaly planet. Like I said, it's pretty far out, but you're still saving time. So we're going to go here and get this done. And good time to go ahead and reorganize your inventory if you need to. Make sure everything's up to snuff. We're using uranium for this. I wish I had pyrite because I could really use some for our pulse drive. But we're actually in pretty good shape uh, tritium-wise. I think we'll be able to get through the whole rest of the expedition on that. So we're in good shape. Um, anything we can do over here? We got our batteries if we need them, which we're probably not going to. Uh, we will need that at some point. Let me go ahead and just put these down here. How are we doing life support wise? I'm going to go ahead and eat it. Yeah, I don't really care about that. It really didn't do much. I just wanted to get it out of my inventory. So jet patch surge, if you want to use it to get up to the tower, that could have came in handy. Uh, anything else I want to put down here? Let's put some carbon condensed carbon we're really really good on if you need some life support gels you should have enough to do it with all right and we're going in power to the engines mr scott there we go and just land straight in land find a spot you can land at i'll land right here a little bit of a slight rise and the animals normally for me show up almost immediately as you can see there's one, is that really heptaloid wheat? Son of a gun. Two, two, two. Where's number two at? There he is. Two. Got it. Okay, that's two. Up we go. Off to our next set. Uh, place. We're going to pulse drive this time. Go straight into Hyper. Go to New Davi. Which is right next to it. Right here. This planet's a little bit closer. It's about 800,000, I think, away, rather than 1.6. So we'll get in good shape here. And then what we can do, too, is we can do our... At the next system, we can do our um, underwater derelict freighter, and then we'll do the other derelict freighter. Okay, this planet is all the way over here. There it is, that little handball there. Crimson planet. Go. All right. So let's get into our phases real quick. Phase one is complete. Phase two is nearly complete. We'll get this here. We do, you can get this stuff if you want, if you need it. You can get, at least if you didn't get uh, stuff from the main space station, you can install some of these and get your upgrades. You know, get the wiring looms out of them. Um, yeah, we don't need that. Don't need that, that, that. Okay, so we're in pretty good shape getting all this done. That's what I was looking for, how many creatures we have left. We're going to get two more here that bring us up to 28, so we'll need to scan four more creatures, and that's the real big thing that I wanted to look for. Okay? So, just so you're up to snuff and I'm up to snuff. Again, any of those times I spend in the escape menu looking at that, not the tab menu, not in here while the ship is still going, but when you go into escape, it pauses the game. So... That time up above, again, won't be very accurate as we keep checking the uh, the menus. All right, and you see we can get cadmium here, too. So that would have been the thing we would have had to get, I guess. And down we go. Looks like there's a storm raging. Just so you know. Is that water? Am I coming in on water? I am coming in on water. Oh my gosh. What are the chances? Let's go someplace else. And it's not going to let me pulse drive out of the atmosphere. Turn around. And go elsewhere. Let's go over here. We've got to have some land. Is it more water? Please tell me it's land. It's water. I don't believe this. How much water could this planet have? So this is a wasting our time right now. Let's go over here. I think I see land right there. I'm going to go ahead that direction. If the storms weren't here, we'd have a clear shot of what we're looking at. All right, this will have to do. It looks fine. It'll be fun taking off from here later. One there. That should fulfill our grouping, but I'm going to get both so I can get all the animals. Okay. And it'll give us the robotic life forms. There it is. All right. And 
galaxy map. We should get, be able to get one more, I think. Yeah, good. And we're going to go to Rendezvous 2. So we're done with the robotic life forms. We've got four more life forms to get. Since we're going underwater, we'll be able to scan for at least two down there and two on land. So here we're going to do the underwater derelict freighter. Is our very, very next thing. We could use, when we get out, as we're pulsing to the planet, we'll go ahead and make a solar mirror, because I always forget to do that. You can buy one at some point, but you should have the resources to be able to make one. Okay, we're going to head for this planet right here. All right, and while we're here, again, my inventory, I'm going to make a solar mirror. And what do we need? I need five more gold. Five more gold, five more. Any, uh, let's go this way real quick and just see if we can find ourselves an asteroid field. That one. We need five more gold. Iridium hypercluster clusters, that's what I was looking for, right? Can we make one now? We need, oh, we need 30 gold. My bad. Got some gold. If you need gold, your best way to get it, to be honest with you, you can get it this way, but your best way to get it would be to get a... There we go. would be to get a pearl. All you need is one. Just need to head for the planet if it'll let me. There we go. All right, down we go. More power to the engines there, Scotty. And just land near the shore. All right, so we need... Why is it doing? I'm just going to make a hole here real quick, and we're going to put our Nautilus chamber right... Ugh. Yeah, kidding. How much more room do you want to make it? What am I missing? I'm missing a metal plate. You guys saw me make five metal plates, did you not? what you need most of your ferrite dust for. Okay. Let's just get in. Let's hit the X button, scan, and get out. Any more animals we can scan for? Yep, it's going to get rid of those and give us these. So we need four, right? One, two, and we should be able to get two more underwater oh it's really close too it's not very far at all less than 20 seconds away and because we're closer to shore it should stick up out of the water a little bit won't know until we get closer oh wow nice very nice Even better. Oops. Down we go. See, if I could have a spot where we can find derelict freighter on a regular basis, that would help a lot. All right, so scan. One. And we should have at least one more animal we can scan. There we go, two. That's it. So, we got it. Not alone. Is complete. Scanning is done. Up we go. Into our ship. Off we go. And once you get enough altitude, you should be able to head straight for Rendezvous 2. Okay, good. 
So let's see what we got done. One is done. Two is almost done. We're going to rendezvous two now. Three, we have to drift through time and space once we've done rendezvous two, and we'll be able to go straight to rendezvous three. Rendezvous four, we have to do a derelict freighter, which we haven't done yet, but we're not going to get it until... Let me do something here real quick. Where is it? This one is what we get. We get our emergency signal scanner. Hoping that we'll get this before we arrive at the planet. Once all these messages go away. Okay. We'll go a little ways away, as we should have been able to get it. Charge some stuff real quick. There we go. Down we go. Let's get this knocked out. And normally I'd be exiting my freighter by now, but that's okay. I think we spent some more time in the menus. Bolt caster, all set to go. Go. Get the gravity going. Let's get the hazard control. And then we're going to open the door. door. Clear this out. It'll get done quicker. Light on. Scan real quick. I don't have a lot of luck in getting the information I need from the first one, but I'll do it anyway. Every now and then you get lucky. Ah, looks like we do have one. Hold on. Nope, didn't get it. Okay, do another scan. We should have one elsewhere. Let's go ahead and grab this. It's got it. This is the longest of all of them. This takes the longest, I think, because it, has, it tells us about all the crew and then does an update to the scanning and then gives you another update. So there's a lot of text here. Useless to me, if you ask me. Okay, scan real quick. There is one over there. We're going to be going through this door right here. So I'm going to get the door open. Like I said, occasionally we'll get lucky. Got it. Okay. Let's go through. <clears throat> Downstairs we go. Next terminal. Uh, where are we going? I think the door is over there. It is, yes. <clears throat> Uh, three. Not quite as long, but it should be... It's just annoying. And he's gone. Got it. Moving on. Just keep going. Because the only one... The only terminal you have left is the last one, so we're just going to keep going. Down. And should be one more door. Got to remember where the door is now. Pretty sure... I think this is it. Yeah, this is it. And we're through. Just gotta get this last component. Got what we need. Turn this on. Go through. And start running back to our ship. I've never been stopped there before. That was weird. Okay. Off we go. 
Make sure Rendezvous 2 is selected. It'll tell us where we need to be going. Right there. Off we go. Rendezvous 2 is a landing platform. It's a good platform to run around on. There's not a lot of weather on this planet. Good platform to run around on if you just want to get your steps in, by the way. That's what I would recommend. Uh, landing platform is over. Whoop. Nope. Quick. Really deep down. It's over here. Come on. There you are. There's also some uh, other buildings nearby if you need to get your survey points in. Okay. Rendezvous 2. Already got it. We're done here. We don't need anything else. So I'm just going to take back off again. Approach the void. Go ahead and do it. It'll usually tell you to jump out quicker because you're going to have to talk to the ghost ship, but we'll see. Maybe we'll get lucky. Nope, it isn't. That's good. So it should tell us hit the S. Now. As long as you have the cloud, you're in good shape. Ghost ship is usually next. you got to see it twice, unfortunately. And... Done. Immediately, I'm going to go back into hyperspace. And we're going to move on to three. We literally have nothing else really to gather, so we can just go straight where we need to go if we can get there. Unfortunately, we're out of range, so we're going to go ahead and go here first. And then we'll take another skip to the other one. Here we go. And if you want to check, you can go in here real quick and take a look and should be complete. Dream of Stars should be complete. There it goes. Back to hyperspace real quick. Right there. On our way. Okay, so Rendezvous 3 next. It looks like we are running low on time, but I think we spent more time in the menu than we have. So if, if I can get it under two hours, we should be okay. And hopefully that'll get us below the 140 mark. I was hoping for like a 135 or 133 or something like that, but we'll see. Okay. Rendezvous is right there on our way. So we got all the time crunches taken care of. This is, we've already done Rendezvous 2. Let's go ahead and get our Starship inventory slot. Um, I'm going to put it over here. Okay. And we're going to go back in here. So again, one complete, two is now complete. Three is almost complete. We're on to Rendezvous 3. Four is almost complete. Five is almost complete. We just have to do this one. We'll do it at four. And we'll be in good shape. Okay. So, here we go. There's not a whole lot left to do. Getting the Fallen Traveler is the only little bit of time we got to take to get something done. Otherwise, everything is just going to be finding the rendezvous locations, landing, and getting out of there. This is a very long run to get to rendezvous. I don't know why they always choose a planet that is so far away. It does make it a challenge. Good there. I'm going to go ahead and put some more tritium in there. How's my exosuit doing? It's a little bit low. I've got plenty of these. I'm going to go ahead and use one. Just give myself up to snuff. Let's go ahead. Oh, that's for a, a ship. We can't use that. We only need to use this one more time. Yep. That's all you can do now, is just go ahead and reorganize stuff while you wait and wait and wait to get where you're needing to go. Starship have any... it does. Maybe that'll help. Who knows? Alright, this location is a bit difficult to find if you don't know where you're looking. It should be... I want to say it's right there. I don't think that's it. It is it. Right there. Okay, good. 
It looks so rounded when you first approach it, but as it flattens out, you're like, oh, oh wait, 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 that might be it. You gotta get closer to the building to get the achievement. So, make sure you get a little closer. There, and it's already telling me to change... Change uh, settings here. Approach my dreams. I'm not gonna do that just yet. I'm gonna do it here because it's gonna give me the other thing. Watch. See, and it's gonna give me the ship. Oh, right. Gotta talk to it. I'm just gonna go straight into hyperspace instead, and I'm gonna go to the next rendezvous. Because it's just not worth wasting my time sitting there doing all this crap. Can I go straight there? I think I can. No, I can't. Is there any place closer? Yeah, let's just go there. Off we go. And we'll do the pulse drive on the way to four. It's a good use of the time spent to try to get to these rendezvous because they're so far away. And you'll have to select it because it won't be selected. Remember, three is complete, so we can get that on our way, too, while we're at it. So we're going to do that. Let it tell us where it is. Where is it? Come on. It's not telling us where it is. I think it's there, but... All right, let me do something here real quick. Something's wrong. Oh, because we're not there yet. Duh. Oh my gosh, what a waste of time that was. We're not in the system yet. I'm so used to being able to jump straight into a system that I literally forgot. What a shame. Sometimes we get I get some hyperdrive modules from some of the uh, tech that I get. And it comes in really, really handy to be able to use one of those. But not always. Not always. Okay, that should be the planet right there. Okay, so while we're pulse driving there, we're going to lock in. Get rid of that. Go into the escape menu and choose this. And it should give us this before we get there. Of course, it's going to show this expedition rewards thing for a while. So unfortunately, it may interrupt. Come on. We didn't get it. Is it that stupid thing on the screen? You have a reward waiting. Let me show you that instead for a little while. Turn around. Gotta get locked in, so choose it. Waste of time. If it wouldn't tell us about all the rewards we have waiting for us, we could have gotten it sooner. But it is what it is. Rendezvous 4 should be over here. We're coming from to from a different direction here, so I'm not sure which side it's going to end up being on. It's just a crater on the planet. There it is. We are coming to it from a different direction. There. Let's wait for the landing pad to show up. Land. Get out of here. But we're not going to get out of here yet. We're going to put our signal booster down. We're going to get back into our menu here. And we're going to select probe the boundaries. We're going to select it. We can get off of this. Tell it to scan for reality ble bleaches. Breaches. Good. Boundary failure detected. And then we're going to go back and get our fallen trap. So this isn't turning out to be the run I was hoping it would be. But, you know, hey. And we're done. We won't need to get any more surge batteries. I don't believe. Yeah, we're out of surge. We don't need them. And this is relatively close by. If you want to try to head towards these deeper ravines to get a little extra speed, it's up to you. Or go up a little higher. There we go. We've got some speed going now. 
and then come in low. Now somebody's built a base here that is gets quite annoying. Try not to land on the pad because it literally takes you further away from the actual spot that you need to be landing at. Bought me once on a speed run. It really got annoying. That looks like they got rid of all the com balls, so at least that's something. Okay, and we're just gonna yell it. We're done. Okay, see so if we can get in the ship. Nope, can't get in the ship yet. Okay, we're out of here. Approach the void to begin our dream. We're not gonna worry about that just yet. We are gonna do it at this point. It's not gonna let me go into pulse. I do need to do this because I need to go ship one more time. And we're going to go straight into hyperspace and go to rendezvous 5, which is going to be our last rendezvous. There we go. And I think we can go straight. Yes, we can. Just. And we will catch the void portion of it as we're on our way to rendezvous 5. So this may be a sub-140, but it's probably not going to break, break my 136. Too much happened. Too many things happened on the way. Better starting point would be great. We're going to choose five first. We're going to choose five first. There we go. And we're going to head there. And we're going to go here and choose four. And if it tells us that there's a reward waiting, we're going to get the reward real quick. Looks like it's going to work this time. There we go. Dream to sleep. We're going to dream. And then we're done. And we just need to choose that real quick so we can get locked in. And we're on our way. We'll get the reward in a second. There it is. Milestone complete. We'll charge some stuff. So we don't run out of anything on the way. We don't need to worry about hyperdrive. Okay, good. Aggressive Sentinels here, so the sooner you get in and out of your ship, the better. This one's a little bit tough to find. It is a crash ship on a ledge. On the edge of a mountain. And if you don't approach it right, and it's yeah, not approaching right. Can I get there? No, I can't. Okay. I wasn't locked in for some reason. Let's go to full power. The ledge, I believe, is right here, or it's around the other side. We're just going to check as we get closer. Yeah, it is not here. It's pretty high up. Around the other side. Look straight down. Right there. There's your ledge. Eh, we're a little far away. That's okay. Mostly okay. Just get a little closer. We're going to turn around, get back. In and out of our ship. With a save point. And we're done. We're going to stop our timer at 201. So let's see how we did, first of all. We did, obviously, one, two, three, four, and five are all complete now. Final phase is complete. So let's jump out of here, and we'll take a look, shall we? Quit to mode select, right? Uh, yep, there we go. And I am not going to delay in showing you like we'd normally do in a chat live. So I'm saying it's going to be sub 140, but it's not going to be close to 136. I don't think we've made it, but we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we tied. 136 it is. So I'm still running a 136. I don't seem to be getting any quicker at this point. But I know ways in which I can speed things up. And I think as a final note to this whole uh, uh, recording that you're hearing, I think one of the great ways that I can do that is if I can get ju just enough ferrite on the first planet. And I'm not sitting there shooting rocks the whole time. That would be great. Because I literally only need a few metal plates. I think I need a total of four, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I think I need one for the ship, um, two, yep, two for the, uh, uh, refiner, and 
Oh, I need, oh, I need one more. I think one or two more for the, uh, for the upgrades on your laser, for the advanced laser. I think you need one or two of those. So I, I think it's four is all you need. That requires 50 ferrite each. So you need literally 200, um, 250 to push it. I have written down here to get 250. So I am going to look into that a little bit closer. The condensed carbon you can get a lot on the second planet that you go to. So holding back on this planet, getting just enough to get off the planet might be worth my time to do so. Uh, the tendrils and stuff like that, we're, we don't need to get the nanites right away. So I think standing there in the middle of a space station and getting the nanites is probably a delay of time too. I can probably save at least two or three minutes bare minimum just by getting the things I need. And as far as magnetized ferrite is concerned, because you're picking up a lot of uh, metal along the way, including at the space station, I think refining it and making magnetized ferrite might be a better option unless it just happens to be appearing right next to you. Um, it doesn't look like we need a ton of copper. We need at least 200 to repair everything and probably an additional, I don't know, 100 to 150. I have written down that I need 400 um, to get everything taken care of. But you can see at the end of the expedition, I still had 100 copper left over. So I think 300 copper would be more accurate. I think if we just go with the 300, I'm going to be in better shape. So I, as soon as I come across the deposit going on a medium setting and sucking all that stuff off the ground would be a lot quicker. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this one only because this is my official live run. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one and we will do it again next time. So watch for another video. I might do another recording, possibly, I don't know. May not get a recording in here now that I think about it. Between here and next Wednesday, it's probably not going to happen. So Wednesday night, I'm going to do a live stream. We'll do at least one run. I'm going to try to start as early as possible because they take me about two hours now, as you can see. So if I can get two runs in back to back, we'll be in better shape. All right. I want to thank you all for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. I know there was a little bit of a snippet at the beginning of the video at the top that said, hey, like and subscribe. Really appreciate it if you would. It really does help the channel. And we'll be doing some more stuff later on. Thank you again very much for watching. Take care, everybody. This is Lon Paul signing off. Bye-bye.